Well, hello. My name is Craig Woods. I'm a veterinarian and one of the founders of TR Biosurgical, a company that has recently created or produced a new glaucoma implant for dogs called TR Clarify. And what I'm going to do today is a little unusual. I'm actually going to demonstrate how we put this implant into a dog eye using uh, grapefruit. <laughs> and it's not meant to devalue the surgery by any means um, or to make it seem trivial. It's actually meant for graphical purposes for pet owners to show just how we put this uh, glaucoma implant into the dog eye in order to help restore that normal fluid outflow with glaucoma. Well, glaucoma in dogs actually is, the way we think of it is it's an increase in the amount of fluid within the eye or increase in pressure within the eye, and that's often caused by fluid building up within the eye. And the fluid, unfortunately, can't escape oftentimes. The doorway in which that fluid normally goes out becomes collapsed or shut. So there'd be two ways of trying to address this problem. One way is to try to destroy, selectively destroy, the tissue that produces the fluid. The other approach, the approach we use with PR Clarify, is to try to reopen back up the door so the fluid can go out the way it normally did prior to glaucoma. Well, this is our test grapefruit. And this is going to be our mock implant, our TR Clarify implant. It's actually kind of shaped like this. I know this is kind of a rough version, but remember we're in the, the kitchen here, and this is meant for graphical purposes. What I want to do is orient you on the eye, uh, our grapefruit here. And as you can see, this, I've cut out a circle here to represent the area that would normally be a clear tissue over this called the cornea. And this colored portion here would be what we would call the iris. And right in the middle is normally black, and that would be the pupil. And the way that fluid is produced in the eye is that it's produced by a tissue behind here called the ciliary body. And the fluid migrates through the pupil, and, and then it will drain through what's called the trabecular meshwork. And that's this area right here between the sclera, or normally the white portion of the eye in this area, and the iris. And in glaucoma, this is actually compromised. It actually collapses down to where the drain is no longer functional and the fluid cannot escape through this area. And so with TR Clarify, what we do is we recreate or open back up a channel and in this case, what I've done is I've gone ahead and pre-made a little incision, but the animal is anesthetized. And if this is the front of the eye, or looking forward, what we do is create an incision into the sclera, or the white portion of the eye, and then we create a flap, we open it up, and underneath the sclera is a tissue bed called the choroid. And this is a vascular tissue bed. And so it helps to drain fluid, what we call uveoscleral outflow. So what we've done is we've surgically created a little flap in the sclera, and then we take our implant, TR Clarify, and that is inserted. And as you can see, it's kind of a goblet shape. It creates a flange. So we insert that into the eye under the sclera, as you can see, what happens is it pops into, through an incision, pops into the anterior chamber, or this portion just right above the colored area of the eye, the iris. And what this does, essentially, is help to recreate this outflow. It opens up a drain so the fluid that's being produced here can now go through this porous implant and we suture the eye or the implant down below the sclera so nothing actually comes outside the eye. This is um, very unique in our design and we believe what happens here is that the fluid migrates into the implant 
and is reabsorbed by this tissue down in here. So essentially taking it out of the eye again. And that is the basis behind TR clarifying. 